What's up, fam? It's your boy Kirk Nugent, and I, I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this series. This how it all works. Streamyard Academy. Um, you guys have been giving us great feedback, and and I'm so glad that some of you are locked in. Some of you actually watched all the videos. If you've watched all the videos thus far, just go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know that below. But in this video today, we're gonna be looking at green screen. Ah, uh, the the dreaded green screen. I'm not a fan. Y'all know this. I've said this multiple times. If you've been following this channel, you know I'm not a fan. That's why I set it up the way that I set it up. But people have been asking, like, how do we optimize StreamYard for green screen? Because gr StreamYard does not work with green screen the same way that Zoom does. So let's dive into that right now in this video. So I'm going to do something real quick because I want you to see what happens when I pull up a green screen for myself here in StreamYard with no green screen behind me. All right. So you've got my camera here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just mute that. And then we're going to go to cam mic, right? Green screen is the option right here. You can go to this inside your system uh, when you're actually inside the studio as well. But this is probably the best place to do this. So I click on green screen and there you have it. So all I'm going to do is select the green screen. You see, that's not really working very well. You see that? That's not that's not working well. Um, and the fader is supposed to be able to but and, and so people are expecting that this is going to work because in Zoom, they don't have a green screen, so it just works. But Zoom is doing some other acrobats and other gymnastics in order to make that happen. So right now I'm going to set up my green screen and we're back. <laughs> so now I have the green screen behind me and it's kind of sort of working um, in the spot that I'm at right here. You have this piece on the wall here that I can't really put a green screen across the wall. So I would have to actually adjust my camera. I'd have to be able to zoom in to be able to really make this work. And and so I want you to I want you to see, you know, these are some of the things I'm having to do. I've had to turn on some lights. I've had to shift some things around a little bit. Um, but here's some of the main things you want to do. Look, when you're doing a green screen, in StreamYard, you want to make sure that your lighting is right. Lighting on you being the subject, lighting on the green screen itself, right? So let's let's go back to green screen here and let's turn it off. So this is what I look like without the green screen, all right? But, but I'm going to go ahead and um, upload two more green screens that I downloaded from a couple different sites. And I'm going to link, put some links in the description of this video to some of the places that you can go and grab some really cool green screens. So now I've grabbed two more green virtual backgrounds from uh, some sites. And so again, the lighting isn't quite right. So what I'm gonna do is actually switch my camera uh, by going up here. I'm gonna switch it to another camera that I have connected to the Blackmagic um, A10 Mini. So here I am on the camera, you can see now it's optimized. Now, this camera has a little less quality, so you're seeing some little things here or there um, in, the, in the key, if you will, right? I'm, I'm, I'm looking up at the camera that it is, but this is the camera where you're seeing me, so it's a little bit weird. We'll get through it. But um, th the main thing, again, what is your lighting? Do you have lighting on yourself? Do you have lighting on your green screen? Do you have a lens that allows you to crop in a little bit so you're not getting uh, you know, the outside stuff. So let's change that camera back one more time for you to be able to see what I'm talking about. So let's move back to this camera. You're seeing this piece is not, you know, that's that's not what we want in a green screen. We want we want to make sure that you've you've pushed in all the way and that your your key is is good. That's what you call a chroma key, right? Chroma key is keying out the green part. That's what the system is doing. Um, other things you want to do is make sure you're on a computer that has some really good hardware, like really good hardware. <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and then lastly, you want to make sure that you go through here. I'm going to go. We're just going to follow some steps real quick in, in your browser. I'm using Chrome right here. You want to go to settings. You want to go to advanced and then system. So settings, advanced system. And then you want to make sure that hardware acceleration Use hardware acceleration when available. You want to make sure that is turned on, right? And you may have to relaunch your browser in order to turn that on. But that is going to enable your browser to really be able to handle what StreamYard is doing with a green screen. That's critical. You want to be able to show that. You want to be able to do that. And so here I am 
on my green screen, I can change to the other one if I want to. Here I am on, on this green screen, uh, on this virtual background, I should say. I am on a green screen here. You can see that in this picture, but in StreamYard, you can see there's a virtual background behind me because it's keying out the green. And then you can actually do their fader, right? So this is what StreamYard gives you to be able to kind of play with it. You see how some of that pixelated stuff has kind of gone away. You want to play with that number and say, okay, no, not there, not quite there. All right, so right about here, it looks a little bit better. And you can go you know, back and forth to different screens to kind of get a feel for, okay, which one is the darker one better for me? And that's this is what you're gonna need to do. All of these things you wanna make sure you play around with and be intentional about before you go into your system. So there you have it. <laughs> Listen, fam, it's, it's, it's really a simple process. You gotta light the green screen, you gotta light yourself. Don't wear green or blue, right? Um, you want to make sure your computer has enough horsepower to manage it. And if you can, enable hardware acceleration on your browser because that's going to be critical. And you saw what I had to do there in terms of my camera, making sure that they it didn't catch anything other than the green screen. So if you don't have something that can zoom in and out, that may be a challenge. Um, and, and also, if you have if you're set up for your streaming or for whatever it is, is not set up uh, against the wall free form. Right. Then you may end up having to use something that can actually zoom in some. And that's how you're going to optimize green screen for your live streams with StreamYard. I hope this was helpful. Hope that we got you all the way across the line. And I'm hoping that you'll come back tomorrow because we got another installment of the How It All Works StreamYard Academy where we will be talking about how to optimize for a host only stream. Just the host, just you by yourself on the screen by yourself. How do we optimize for that? How do we create graphics for that? We're going to be talking about that in the next video and I hope to see you there. It's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. Hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.